All right, let me just get this out of the way real quick. Pajama night is go. Hello and welcome. I, I, can either, I can either use this to land aer airplanes at the airport or sell flowers. It goes either way. <laughs> it's festive. It's like an eye in my cap. I'm going to try to suffer through some of this Christmas crap. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I needed pajama night. It was such a good suggestion that we dress up and be silly because about mid-November, I just, I tense the hell up, and I'm tense through, you know, into the new year. I have enough tense, tension to make diamonds in the new year. I just, it's just really, I just, everything gets to me. And as I've gotten older, I know where it comes from. I'm not stupid. I realize that I'm personally waiting for every crappy thing that ever happened to me on any time in my life that was within line of sight of a Christmas tree to all happen at once during December. I know it, and it makes you armored up, and it makes you cynical, and it makes you mad. It does, and I battle it. Of course, you gotta battle it carefully because let's face it, all your friends are as screwed up as you are. That's why I love them. I, it is, it is exactly why I love them, but it's also why I'm constantly looking for something to lighten and bleed off some of the tension. Any drop of it I can get rid of would be awesome. <laughs> Not really where I was going because there's a certain level of emotional damage that this doesn't fix. Eventually you're just crying in the unisex bathroom. <laughs> Technically it's called a pre-show. <laughs> Featuring Brett Crow. Sorry, man, it's on the postcard. The point, the point is, you look for any moment where, frankly, you can make it not suck. No, just don't, it's easy. Save, wave, save it for the good stuff. I had a moment, we do this thing on Tuesday nights, it's a circus gym, and a couple of weeks ago, I went out there, it was right before all that ice hit and it got really disgusting here, and I went out there, and I, I, I were up on the second floor and I looked down over this like big balcony thing and I'm leaning over the side and they set up a Christmas village. Now, the reason we're allowed to be a circus gym in a mall is because the mall's in its twilight years. <laughs> That's why they let Santa and us in there to do whatever it is we're gonna do. So the mall's not real crowded. And so every store is decorated in hopes that someone other than us might walk in. <laughs> we're clowns, we don't have any money. But they're hoping someone will walk in. Everybody's dressed up. They have the heat on, hoping to be enticing. There's a movie theater. And I look down, and there's this Christmas village. They set up Santa's village, and it's cheesy. But it's, it's Victorian, and somebody put some work into that. And we have the speaker we bring, we put it on the ground, and then we juggle, and we're listening to music, and we brought some jazzy Christmas music. I don't know why, maybe it was what we were playing in the car or playing around with for a gag. But I'm standing there, and I just had a really good meal. I was with some friends, and I looked out over the side, and for a split second, I was pretty cool. It didn't suck. And then I got really pissed off. I got angry. And I thought to myself, what a crappy cynic I am. I am failing at being the curmudgeon. I have sworn up and down I am. <laughs> I swore I'm supposed to hate this stuff. And for a split second, I didn't. I didn't want to go running down having big parades. You're not going to be able to make me do that. That's not who I am. But for a split second, I got really mad because there was this little Christmas miracle and I was way up there looking down on it. It wasn't mine, but I knew if someone saw me having that moment, they'd probably have something cynical to say about that and it would be more crap on the pile. And I just, I, I got mad. And I went looking for mine. And I, I, I walked around for a while, kind of, kind of messed up about it. And then, last week, somebody who's here tonight walked up to me and said, are we going to do the gym on Christmas Eve? And I said, I don't know. We do the gym every Tuesday. And I hadn't really thought about it. I figured everybody, everybody else had somewhere to be. And uh, she said, well, I'd, I'd really like to be able to escape where I'm going to have to be. 
I hadn't really thought about it. And then somebody else said to me, well, I kind of want to do what I love on Christmas Eve. And what I love is circus and theater. I said, oh, that's a real good reason. Somebody else said, well, if they're going to be there. My friends are going to be there. I want to be there. And before I knew it, we had an entire group of people who on Christmas Eve are going to go to the mall and juggle just because they love to do it. Somewhere along the way to not being cynical, I was so caught up in my head, which is a lonely, orphany, disgusting place, I was so caught up in it that I had forgotten that I had been, just like everybody else is, working to make my life a place I actually want to be. It looks like this, in case you're curious. It looks a lot like this in my head. Blinding lights, people waiting to get a punchline in edgewise. <laughs> It's exactly like this. It's true. But in that moment, you know, the load just kind of lifted. And I realized one of the pressures I had is that last year, this thing was on Christmas Eve and we filled the house. An amazing, amazing night. We filled the house. And I realized tonight wasn't going to be on Christmas Eve. And yeah, despite me kind of being cynical and kind of hating the holidays, I was kind of messed up about that. So now I get to tell you this. On Tuesday night, if you need to be somewhere, come join us at the gym. The information's on the internet. We'll get to it later. You don't have to be alone. And for the rest of us who are here tonight, and those of you at home who couldn't make it but wanted to, realize this. When we got here, we moved here in August, and I swore to you we would be orphans no more. The best thing about the holidays is I get to spend it with all my friends. Thank you, and welcome to the open stage.